Hello my friends, it is Dana. Welcome back to Decorate with Dana or welcome if you are new here. Today's video I thought would be a fun video to share with you and we're going to go I'm gonna, this is going to be broken up into a couple different videos, but today I wanted to share with you my tried and true used daily, if not, you know, probably at least three, four, five times a week Amazon kitchen products. The next video will probably be my favorite home decor products, and then maybe I'll do like a home, um, my favorite like personal care products, but I just thought. I would, this would be a really fun video. There's so much you can purchase on Amazon. I purchase a lot. I have some things I love and then some not so much and I'm not gonna share those with you. I just literally want to share with you my tried and true absolute favorites. So yeah, I thought that we would do that in today's video. Uh, before I get started, I did want to thank each and every one of you that have left me the kindest kindest message on my last video. If you did not see it, it was a little life update video and I'm gonna link it up here in the cards just so you have an idea of what is going on. Um, there has been a lot going on and um, for those of you that have watched it, you know what I'm talking about. Um, my stepfather has taken steps forward and then 10 steps back and it's just going to be a long, long recovery process. So I am working on trying to do a lot of videos to get them ready because I'm sure a trip is coming back up very soon in my future and I don't want to miss any uploads because I just like sharing this kind of stuff with you guys. So um, anyways. I haven't responded to any messages yet. Please know I read them all the time. They bring tears to my eyes. I genuinely appreciate all of your love and kindness and I will be getting back to answering those messages. I'm just trying to get a lot done so I am ahead of the game when I need to go back down there. So anyways, thank you all so much. But without further ado, we're going to get started with my kitchen favorites and we're gonna kind of do this in a fun way. I'm just going to take you around my kitchen and stop at each area of something that I use and just share it with you. I thought that was just easier than sitting here and just showing it to you. I'll show you what I use. Um, my kitchen is in a little bit of a disarray right now because of course the little, it's leaking under the sink. So the faucet hose or whatever is leaking. So some things are out on the counter right now, but it'll make it easier to show you because some of the things I wanna show you are some like under the sink organization type of stuff. So instead of being under the sink, they'll be on top of the sink. But anyways, so without further ado, let's get started with this favorite Amazon kitchen gadgets and finds that I use daily or at least several times. Okay, the first place we're going to stop at is of course the coffee bar. This is a daily use product that I could not recommend more. We used to be always Keurig people and I just felt like I never got a really good flavored coffee until we started, well, first of all, we started off using the Chemex pot. Um, this is just the individual pot. I think this is the six cup. You put a filter in here, you put your coffee grounds in here, and then you would use like a um, gooseneck kettle to pour your water and then it just pours over and it makes the most amazing cup of coffee. So this is relatively inexpensive. You can buy a big box of the filters or you can get the reusable filters online that you just like rinse out and can reuse every time. And it makes the most amazing rich cup of coffee. So we did this for a long time and then we decided to go ahead and invest in the Chemex automatic brewer so it is literally the same thing we do have this bigger carafe that is like the eight cup coffee carafe but this one also fits under there i think it comes with this i bought this one separately um, that you could also just use with a gooseneck kettle you do not need this machine but uh, you just put your water in it goes and your filter and your grounds it goes under there you turn it on and it will automatically just put the water through and slowly as the water or as the coffee starts to brew and make it just drips down and fills the pot it is 
the best coffee that I've ever had. I Now I go to, I don't have any desire to go to Starbucks or Dunkin' or any place like that and get just a regular hot cup of coffee because I feel like I can make a better cup of coffee with this machine. So this machine is probably about $300. Now it has been worth it for us because we make multiple pots a day. So it's been worth it. But if you don't wanna spend that, I think you can get these for maybe around $40 and you can get a cheap gooseneck tea kettle, the one that you either put on your stove or um, an electric one and you can make coffee every day just using that. Like I said, we did it for the longest time till we decided to invest in this one, but it is the best cup of coffee I've ever had and you can play around with different coffees and everything that you wanna try but I highly, highly recommend it. This is a use daily for us. So along those same lines, this is my Breville Barista Express. This is another one that I use probably about three times a week. I make a double shot of espresso and make a hot or iced coffee depending on the weather and what I'm in the mood for. But I highly recommend this. This is pricey. Um, I don't know the exact price. Again, I'm gonna have everything linked down below. I've had this for a couple years now, but I absolutely love it. And overall, I do still go out and get an occasional latte or something, I'm not gonna lie, but it is nice to be able to just make an espresso at home. So this would be on the recommend list. Uh, the, this one is the highly recommend. This is the recommend list. However, this is pricier, but if it saves you from going out and buying a $6 coffee every day, then it would end up paying for itself in the end. But I will have this linked down below. Also. So going along with the coffee maker, I use probably three to four days a week is our coffee grinder, at least two. I grind usually enough beans for a couple of days. I absolutely love this coffee grinder. I have used others. This is relatively quiet for a coffee grinder. So when I'm up at 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning and I'm grinding the coffee beans, I'm not waking up the entire house. Um, the Smeg appliance is not only that, but they just look so beautiful. I love this beautiful green color, but I also really like the white and the cream colors, but they also have a really pretty blue, but you just dump your coffee beans in here, it grinds it into here, and then I just refill my canisters as I need them. And yeah, this is a absolute use every single day appliance. The next item I wanted to share with you was not really a, a kitchen gadget. It is obviously a little bit pricier item, but this is our kitchen bar stools. I've had these for about a month now from Amazon. They are absolutely beautiful. Um, I think it's McGee & Co has a very similar one, if I can find it, for way more expensive than I purchased these on Amazon for. I love this kind of faux suede leather backing it has here. It has the padded seat cushion, and these are just beautiful. So I think that they just look so high-end. They were relatively inexpensive, considering these are a dupe for a lot of high-end companies. So I just wanted to share those with you because I think that they are beautiful and this is a daily use for us also. The next items I wanted to share with you, these come in a set of two. They are glass water pitchers. They're like vintage inspired. So you can see the beautiful detailing on the glass. It has a sealed lid, which is gold. So that's just a bonus, but it has like with a filtered spout or the open spout that you could put in here. So generally, and it has like a green glass handle. These are so beautiful, but generally I keep, they came with a set of two. Generally I keep cold brew in here. I just haven't made any yet. And then I always just keep lemon water in this one in the refrigerator, but it's perfect because I can just pull this out if we have company over and we're having dinner and I can pull this right out. It looks beautiful sitting on the table and it's also functional because it is holding our lemon water. So I highly recommend these. I think that they're just beautiful and they are practical as well. So the next item I have for you is this wipes container. So I always have Clorox or Lysol wipes in my house. Um, just to disinfect after cutting meat or cleaning or feeding the cats or the dog. So I love this. It just looks pretty impractical. It can sit right out on your countertop. I have to put a new one in here actually as we speak. So I will just show you how this works. 
So here is my old container, all empty. So then I just get the new container, I rip off the lid, I reach in here to get it started. I don't know why they make these things so hard to start, but they do. So I reach in here just to get it started. And then I go through, put this in here. And then I put on the lid and screw it on. Pull this up and through here. So then you can just pull out a wipe. But the new one goes right there and waits for you to close it. It's pretty, it's practical. And yeah, I mean, it's not a necessity, but it's just a nice way if you're always using these like I am to display and have it out so that they're easy to grab, but it looks nicer than the bottles that they originally come in. Okay, so the next two products I'm going to talk about are this over the sink strainer daily. We use this all the time to rinse stuff out and then just to put it in here to dry. This always, like my husband's ember mugs can't go in the dishwasher, so he washes it out, puts it here to dry, and then I can just put it away. Uh, we love this. We use this all the time. We have the double sink, unfortunately. <laughs> Wish I had one big sink, but I don't. We have the double sink, so um, this stays out all the time and we are always using it. And then another product that we are always using is this drying um, stone. I think it's, I can't remember what exactly it's made out of. I'll try to put it here on the screen, but it basically just instantly absorbs the water and then it will st go ahead and dry very quickly. So you could just wash your products, put it there to dry. And it looks pretty, it looks like marble. Um, but it's nice and porous. The water dries very quickly. So this is another highly recommend. You can leave it out all the time and it looks nice, but yet it is functional as well. So just moving right along, right next to the sink, I have my Simple Human Automatic soap, Hand Soap Dispenser. I assume you probably could use this for dish soap also. This one is gold. I think they come in black. I think they come in silver. They may even come in white. I'm not sure. Love the gold because I have gold hardware on my cabinets. And I just leave it sit over here because if I put it here and I'm working a lot, it will like automatically go off. But I just love it. It disperses the perfect amount of soap and then you can just wash your hands. It So the closer you hold your hands, the less soap it'll disperse. So that's just a little bit. If you hold it down here, it disperses a lot more, but I love it. It's hands-free. Um, so again, if you're cutting chicken or feeding the animals or something, I don't have to touch the soap dispenser to get it to dispense soap. It just does it automatically for me. And I feel like we use a lot less soap with this also, but there are different styles, but I have a different brands, but I have tried about three different ones. And so far the simple human one is a tad bit more expensive, but it has lasted the longest. The other ones I have gotten have already um, stopped working. So moving over here, these are what go under my sink. Like I said, we have a little leak in the sink, but I love these. So they come, I think they come with a stack of two or you can get them one, but they are little drawers that I use to organize under the sink and it just keeps and helps everything stay so much more neat and organized. I have sponges over here. These are like dish cloths and then also those little reusable sponges. Um, I have my dishwasher pods. I have garbage disposal cleaner. I have microfiber cloths and then these are just some randoms like little sink stoppers and stuff like that. But I love these because they just help everything stay so much more organized. So once my sink gets fixed, they'll go back under there. <laughs> And then, well, so let me move these down. In this same area is my under the cabinet paper towel dispenser. I just love it right here because it keeps it up and off of the countertop, gives me more room on the countertop. And it's just right here, it's gold. You just can slide your paper towels on and off. The way it's turned, you can just rip off the piece that you need. I just think it made everything on the countertop so much neater and I just love the way that that looks and it keeps it up off of the countertop. Something that I use every single day that I keep right out by my stove in this little utensil crock are these white silicone utensils for cooking. They're non, they are good for your non-stick pans and surfaces 
and I just have the white, but I do believe that they also come, I mean, they come in every color, really. You can just get everything. Um, the quality of the amazing, and I think this is all the pieces. These are not, this was a different one, and that is a different thing, but um, these are beautiful. They're very heavy weight. They hold up well in the dishwasher. I do make a lot of pastas. This has never stained, so I highly recommend. So I would say my absolute most used kitchen gadget is this little garlic um, mincer chopper, but you can also use this for onions. I think you could use it for peppers. You could use anything that you need to really finely chop. This has been a lifesaver for me. So I cook with tons of onion and tons of garlic. So this is almost a daily use for me because I don't think I ever make a meal without those in it, but you just, you could just take your garlic cloves, put a few in there, oops, and then you just put the lid on, and then you just hit the button. And the longer I did it, the more it would mince it, but you can just see how it just finely chops up that garlic. But like I said, I do this with onions. It saves on the tears and everything else. So this is, probably my absolute favorite kitchen gadget just because I don't love chopping garlic and onions, but I use them all the time. And then it's rechargeable, so you just take it over and recharge it wherever you charge everything else. Uh, plug it in, takes probably an hour or two to fully charge. And then I use it probably five or six or seven times, depend depending on what I'm chopping and you know how much I'm using it. I don't have to charge it, but every couple weeks or something. So the very last item I wanna share with you is this cutting board. So this thing is so cool because it's flexible, it bends. So it can lay flat when you're cutting and you can cut on here. And then when you want to put stuff in your pan, you can just squeeze it and it bends and naturally puts stuff in your pan. It works so great, so. So this is a highly recommend. I use this daily as well because I'm always cutting some kind of fruit or something and it just makes it so easy to go from chopping to put it right into your pan. The next favorite of ours is the Ninja Creamy. We have been making our own ice cream and lately my husband's making been making protein ice cream, so a little bit healthier alternative to regular ice cream, but this thing is awesome. You can make ice cream, sorbet, light ice cream, smoothie bowls, gelatos, milkshakes, and you can add mix-ins, so we like to add like chocolate chips or something. Sorry for that noise, my husband's outside doing something. But anyways, um, we love this thing. If you didn't see my last video, my husband made a protein ice cream. So I will insert that clip so you could see what it is. But you just, you make it ahead of time. It comes with, well it came with I think one of these, but we actually went ahead and bought like four more so you can pre-mix, because everything has to sit for like 24 hours before you put it in the machine. And my husband's definitely better at this goes in this thing and then it goes up and in here after 24 hours and mixes it and it gives it the consistency of like soft ice cream. It's been fun like experimenting. We've made chocolate, vanilla, mint chocolate chip. We've made the protein. We've made chocolate peanut butter protein. So anyways, this is a highly recommend from the Ninja Creamy. I will run the clip right now of my husband making his protein ice cream and just he'll give you a little idea of what he puts in it. Okay, so you made this protein ice cream. What yes, was it? What was in it? Ninja machine. It's my favorite ice cream machine. So we have uh, the Fairlife milk. Yep. Put in a tablespoon of peanut butter and um, some non-fat um, no sugar added. Right? No sugar added pudding. Chocolate right? pudding. Chocolate yep. pudding. And then you just and mix then, that. We mix this in the blender though, right? First. Yeah, we mixed it in the blender first, then I poured it in here, froze it for 24 hours. And then, oh, that looks so good. Yes, it, then it did uh, mixed it up, and I put in some uh, little chocolate chips. But here, that um, is delicious. 
Um, so it's a high protein. Mm. That one peanut is better. Butter, chocolate peanut butter. Ice cream. Yeah. But it's so good. That one, though, tastes better than the other one you made. Had protein powder in it. Yes. So that one tasted very protein powdery. But you added a lot. <laughs> I added two scoops of protein powder. I think next time I'll just do one and see what that right. does. But this one, definitely. I like the peanut butter in there, too, actually. So, okay. Very good. Okay, the last product I wanted to share with you guys today is this Ziploc bag organizer and then this organizer for tin foil, aluminum foil and plastic wrap. Love this. It just keeps everything so organized. If you need a sandwich bag, you can get a sandwich bag. Snack bags, we don't really use those very much, but the quart size bags and the gallon bags and then everything's just easily accessible. It's easy to it's easy to get stuff out. And it just keeps everything organized and neat in your drawers. You're not fumbling through a million bags to find which one you want. It just, everything is just nice and organized in your uh, drawers. Okay, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed that video. I hope it gave you some ideas of some different kitchen gadgets and finds that you can get on Amazon. Um, yeah, I hope that it helped you out. I hope you enjoyed it. I will have everything linked down in the description box down below. And until next time, I will see you guys soon. I hope you have a great day.